Right, this morning we're going to do one of what we call our walkabout experiments. We take you on a walk through the woods here, and at two points Jan and I will appear and ask you if you know where the starting point of the journey was. I'll give you some starting reference points by telling you that that's north over there, therefore south is that way, and the thing that most people get confused over is that therefore east is over there, <laughs> and west is over there. So we're going to issue you all with one of these helmets. We'd like them on so that the coil is more or less horizontal, and this end gets attached to a battery. To try and keep them there, we've... There's no doubt in my mind that man's got a magnetic sense. We've got enough data, I think, to make it clear that a magnetic sense exists and is being used. The, the challenge and the fun is finding out just how it's being used and why it sometimes doesn't work. Today, what we're trying to do is look to see if people use the magnetic field in their everyday lives. Are people using the magnetic field as they're just wandering around? When they come to a completely strange place and they're trying to build up a map of the area, do they use the magnetic field? We hide the maps before they arrive. Uh, they should be totally naive about the place. And although it's a valley, there are a lot of ins and outs. So just by going up and down slope, you wouldn't get a lot of information. There's a... Mm -hmm. Now, can you draw an arrow from that line pointing towards the cottage? In other words, what direction do you think your arrow is pointing? That isn't necessarily north. N uh -huh. Okay. Now, can you draw an arrow from that line pointing towards the cottage? No. Okay. Now, could you circle one of those compass directions that you think best describes your arrow? Okay, right, thanks. <laughs> Next, please. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Well, I'm going to take this off now, Robin, because I don't intend to do the second part of the experiment, but I would be interested to know uh, how I got on. A lot depends, of course, on whether your helmet's switched on or not, whether you've got an excuse. Uh, but if you were standing like that, yeah. so the arrow that you've drawn is pointing more or less straight back up the path, which isn't too bad. The cottage is over a bit like that. So you're about 20 degrees out with your pointing. Mm. But I'm afraid your compass estimate, you've come more or less due east, so what you should have put down is west, and you've got east northeast. <clears throat> what's, what's the next stage of the experiment? Well, that one should have been fairly easy. That was a fairly short distance, so everybody should have done quite well. So we're now going on to a much more distant site to see how much worse people get as we go further away. So the students are going the long way around, yeah. and we're going to take a shortcut and meet them all about a kilometre and a half from the cottage. This is it? This is it? Yep. So we'll have the students pointing at those trees up there. If I get this out, I can show you what the answer is going to be. So, if they're pointing that straight towards those trees up the hill, mm. then the correct direction for the arrow is going to be more or less like that, going and, in that direction. And that is what, I would say it's about due south, is it? Well, better than your last go. <laughs> no, that's west-southwest. Right. right, so I'll keep hold of it. Can you draw an arrow pointing towards the cottage? 